What's happening, Kim folk? Welcome back to the channel, Knuckles TV. Knuckles coming at you. Today is gonna be awesome. Let me get out from underneath the Jeep. <laughs> Oh. 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 Ah. Fuck old age sucks. Oh, all right. So today we got the projects of the bumpers. So if y'all seen the last video or video before whatever it was, we went and got new bumpers for Sky. Uh, some metal bumpers, Trail Masters. So we're gonna go ahead and put those on today. So we've got a lot of work to do. Let's go. Alright y'all, so what we gotta do first is uh, I'm gonna get under here, I'm gonna take this little uh, splash guard or cover off, whatever the hell this is, and then disconnect the fog lights, and then um, I'll show y'all what bolts we gotta take off in order to pull this front bumper off. So uh, for right now, let me go ahead and take this off and unplug these lights and then I'll show y'all. All right, so we got these little clips here that you have to pop out. You pop them down and then they just pull out of there like that there. So let's get rid of those and this thing should come off. All right, Kim folks, so there was those four uh, little clips that held the splash guard, but then there was also two more on the inside of it. So you gotta get one here and one here. So now there is going to be uh, four bolts for the bumper, two here, and then the other two. Shit. Uh, let's see if I can see them. Oh. It's going to be right there, one there, and then one right below that. So those are going to be a little bit difficult to get to. Uh. There's two over there, and then the two on the outside. So, let's take those four bolts off, and then, uh, and then we also gotta disconnect the fog lights. So, we'll disconnect the fog lights there. I think that's it. And then uh, we want to take this wiring harness. There's a wiring harness connected to the bumper as well. It houses the uh, lights and stuff, lighting wire. So you want to disconnect that from the bumper before you take the uh, bumper off. Or else you'll be hung up. And you'll be cussing up a storm trying to get it off. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to disconnect these lights. And then we'll start on the on the uh, bolts. All right, Kim folks, so to get these bolts, man, they're, they're this bottom one, I had to come in with this extension, swivel extension, and then a ratchet to get the bottom one. The top one I'm still working on, so. I, I guess you might be able to move this evac can, I think is what it's called. If you unbolt that, maybe it'll come off. You can get to it easier, but I'm trying to avoid that, so. Let me see if I can get to the top one. All right, Kim folks, so I couldn't get it the other way um, from underneath. So what I did is took this your plastic cover right here, unclipped it with these clips, and then just slid it out. And then got my little extension with the swivel. Put it on there. And there. A lot easier than fucking it with it from underneath. So, and I just ripped my pants. Son of a bitch! All right, Kim folks, so once you get all those bolts off, the bumper's ready to come off. Um, there is some brackets on the back side that are mounted like this over the bolts and then the nuts were on that. Once you take those nuts off, make sure you take these off because you're gonna have to reuse these, so keep those uh, all right now we're gonna go ahead and pull this bumper off nice and easy Over here, 
said, your fog lights, if you don't have aftermarkets, we have aftermarket fog lights. So, uh, this is what our connectors look like. If you have the regular stock fog lights, you'll just have a little clip on the back of the fog light right here. So, uh, we're gonna take these fog lights out and then we'll install them in the new bumper. So, and that's just some uh, Phillips heads. All right, so now you have the fog light housing unit. And right here on this new bumpers, these again are the uh, Trailmaster Nomads. So all they do is just slide in them holes and we'll, uh, they actually give you new bolts for the uh, fog lights uh, in the kit. So we'll get those. So you just drop them in like that. Makes it real nice and easy. All right, folks, so how these are gonna work, they provide you these bolts. They're gonna be an Allen head, and the Allen head is a two millimeter. Uh, they provide you an Allen head, but this is what they give you. We're gonna use a T handle. So you're gonna go bolt, flat washer, and then you'll go flat washer, lock washer, and then nut. And then uh, that's how you'll put them on, on here. So I'm gonna put all these bolts in there first, and then I'll come back. It's gonna be a tricky part. Cause they're small as hell. So we'll wanna go the flat washer first, and then your lock washer, and then your nut on the very bottom. So let me see if I can do this without losing everything. Babushka, hold that. Oh no. Huh. Got it on the first try, Babushka. There you go. So we'll do the rest of them and get it all locked down. So I'm not gonna lie, Kim folks, putting in these fog lights, man, is pretty tough. Uh, messing with those little bit, all that shit's real small, so. But we're getting it, so uh, it's taking us a little bit, but uh, we're getting it. So we're about to uh, do to tighten down the other one, and then uh, we'll go from there. And Babushka just told me that that Allen wrench is not a two. I apologize, it's a two and a half. There we go. All right, so now what we're gonna do is, uh, uh, these wires here, which are to the fog light, not believe we're gonna be long enough. They stretch out pretty far. So I'm gonna cut this loom, cut where the tape is, and go ahead and get an extension, uh, pull some more of this wire out, and that should give me enough to hook it up to the uh, to the lights, because I don't think that's gonna be... I think that'll work. Has the wire coming off the light, too? Uh, I don't know, that's pretty far, dude. If anything, I mean, we'll cut it, spread it out as far as we can, and then just zip tie it up so and then once we do that then we'll zip tie all these wires back up together uh, to get them out of the way so let me go ahead and cut this and extend this out real quick all right so we just test fitted it man we actually do not have to extend these out so that's good so we're just gonna run them out like that and I've got plenty on there so uh, we'll uh, I actually gotta fix this real quick this isn't part of the install, but I gotta fix this, it's loose. We put some tape on it because it was rattling. So uh, I'm gonna re-rivet that on and then we'll get back to the bump. All right, so we're gonna get Babushka. <laughs> we're gonna get Babushka over here to go ahead and slap this bumper on real quick. I'll guide him in since he's a young buck. Oh, let him carry the heavy shit. How heavy is the bumper? Pretty heavy. Pretty damn heavy. That's 
that. Now we gotta put these on, these spacers here. So let me get under here. Slap these on. So the cool thing, man, this bumper, like I said, I'm actually really impressed with the quality build. Um, the build of the bumper. The, the welds are amazing. Nice, thick, heavy duty welds. Real thick metal. The bumper is made out of itself. And uh, it came with grease on the bolts already, so to keep them from rusting, really nice, man. Really nice quality for the price, so we've got a hell of a deal. So, on the uh, bolts that are already uh, on the bumper, there's some that are studs that are welded on the bumper. You're gonna put your lock nylon nut and a flat washer. So, we'll get that started. We'll get that started so it doesn't fucking fall on me. Side that doesn't have the studs the bolts welded to the bumper already. You're gonna have your, you're gonna install these bolts which come in the kit. You know, then you'll put your flat washer first and then lock uh, washer and then the bolt, uh, the bolt, well, and then the bolt. Now with this bumper, hell of a lot easier to get to these bolts now. So Babushka's gonna tighten everything down and then we'll look at it. All right, Kim folk, there she is. The new Trailmaster Nomad bumper. Huh? 1,000. <laughs> With the winch plate. It's got some spots up here for a light bar. Pretty sweet, man. We got our, uh, our D-rings on there. And uh, that's it, man. It really wasn't that hard. The hardest part was getting those bolts off on this side with that evap can right there because that was a booger to get to but other than that it's not bad fog lights turn the fog lights on bubba fog lights uh come on very nice i like them how they're spread apart better than the stock the only thing is uh we are gonna have to get some kind of skid plate to go and cover this here i don't like how the frame's showing down here but after we've hooked up all the lights we went ahead and zip tied all the wiring up you can turn the lights off, Bubba. And uh, so now we just gotta find some kind of skip plate to go underneath to uh, get rid of this frame part here. So, yes, sir. Nice. What do you think, babe? I like, like it. it. Awesome. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and jump on the back bumper. Um, when I'm editing this, if it seems like it's gonna be too long a video, it'll be a separate video. So. Uh, if it's not a separate video, let's get started. If it is a separate video, thank y'all for watching. Much love, much respect. Knuckles out.